Hello, welcome, thank you for being here. My name is Paige Wilcox, and my husband and I own Wilcox Wellness and Fitness in Bangor, and we have a franchise location in Brunswick, Maine, owned by Allison Hopkins. I'm so happy you're here today. I am really excited to be talking with you. I'm starting this live thing. I have to say I feel a little bit nervous, but um, I'm actually excited, because I'm excited to share some strategies with you to help you stay on point nutritionally. I know that I've been talking a lot about snacking recently, but really it's one of our habits for massive impact. So snacking is one of the thing that, things that most people forget to do throughout the day, so healthy snacking. Um, and it's really one of the things that's going to help you stay on point nutritionally. It's also the thing that I struggle with most. So most of you know me, know that I just love to go, 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 go. I have a lot of energy. I am very excited about the work that we're doing. I'm a busy mom of two kids and a busy business owner. And oftentimes I forget to snack. And a lot of you could say like, hey, like that doesn't sound like such a bad thing. You're not eating as much throughout the day, but it actually is because I get through a day, I eat healthy all day long because um, I love to eat healthy. But then at the end of the day, if I haven't committed to getting those snacks in between breakfast and lunch and between lunch and and dinner, I am literally begging Mike to go to the corner store and get me some Ben and Jerry's. That's my thing. Now you know my dirty little secrets. That was really cute when I was about eight or nine months pregnant and just postpartum, not so cute anymore. And it's something that I'm working on. Um, so let me know if you're here. I'd love to chat with you in the comments if we can make that happen. If you're here live, just Click, uh, write live. If you're watching on the replay, write replay, replay and that way I can engage with you. So when new clients start with us, we really work with them to help them establish some healthy habits that they can sustain for the rest of their life. There are just five of them. They're super simple, but we know that these are the things that are going to lay a foundation of health and wellness for the rest of their life. And we also know that these are the things that most people struggle with. So I'll run through them with you right now. And as I'm going through them, I want you to think about which habit you struggle with mostly and write it in the comments. And then that will help me create videos for you to support you in the future. So the first thing that we encourage our clients to do is start the day every day with breakfast. Probably never heard it before, but it is the most important meal of the day. It's going to set you up to have great energy levels throughout the day. And if it's a healthy breakfast, help you make better decisions as the day goes on. The next one is constantly nourish yourself throughout the day. And that's what we're going to be talking about today. And I'll get more into that in a minute. But at high level, what that's going to do for you is it's going to keep your energy levels up, keep you feeling great keeping you feel well-fueled and help you make better decisions by the time you get to the next meal. So you're not going into lunch or dinner completely starving. Um, and I know, tell me if you've done this before. I know I have, and I know it's true for a lot of people, but often what happens if you're starving when you go into the next meal, it just doesn't matter. Like, it's just like, get all the food in my belly, portion control goes out the window. Um, doesn't matter if it's healthy or not, you're just starving and you're gonna eat whatever is in sites. And I did a Facebook Live a little while ago on um, being hungry and going into a convenience store and being able to make smart decisions that way. Um, there's always, always help, healthy options available if you look for them. But oftentimes, if you're starving, you don't care that much. You just are looking for something fast um, and something to turn off the, your growling stomach. So start your day every day with breakfast, consistently nourish yourself throughout the day. The next one is eating whole foods only. So foods that are in their most natural state, foods that came from the earth or had a mother are what we are gonna recommend. Um, that just eliminates a lot of the packaged and processed things. The last one nutritionally is drink half your body weight in fluid ounces daily in water. And that's another thing that a lot of people struggle with. So if you're not drinking a lot of water, just, just start drinking more water. You don't have to get to 
half your body weight right, right from the get-go, but just try to increase that because I know that you'll feel better. Um, so those are the four nutritionally. Like I said, they're very basic, but they are the things that are going to set you up for success nutritionally. And then we are a personal training business. The last one is get active. We recommend training with us three times a week. That's really a sweet spot for getting it done. If you join a training program with us, we're going to take care of that for you. All you need to do is show up and our trainers take care of the rest. So those are our habits for massive impact. So today we're talking about snacking as a strategy to help you stay on point. Um, like I said, it really is the thing that's going to help you com stay committed to your health and fitness goals. Um, it's going to help take care of those cravings for you. Um, because what happens when you're Cravings are related to a lot of things, but a lot of times we just crave things because we're hungry and our body's looking for that quick win. Um, so in terms of snacking, I'm going to recommend some healthy snack suggestions. So snack should always be a good balance of carbs, fat, and protein, like a mini meal, but that it doesn't have to be as complicated as a mini meal. It's not like Chicken and broccoli is your snack all the time. These can be really fun, really delicious things. Remember, we want them to be whole foods and a good balance of carbs, fat, and protein. My favorite go-to is really just an apple and a cheese stick. I do that because it's super simple, um, busy. I can eat it pretty quickly. I can throw it into my bag in the beginning of the day. And I kind of like my cheese warm, so that's a win, too. If that's gross, just let me know, but I think it's delicious. Um, so I'm getting the carbohydrates from the apple and I'm getting the fat and the protein from the cheese stick. Another great snack is just some hummus and veggies. They, you could either portion out your hummus if you want to from the big batch or they sm sell um, little pre-portioned hummus packages. Slice up some, some veggies and you're good to go. That's a great one. Um, you're of course getting the fat and the protein from the hummus and the carbohydrates from the veggies. Another great one is just any whole fruit and any nuts. So think like a pear and almonds, apples and walnuts, um, fruit and nut butter, um, apple and, I mean, sorry, banana and almond butter. That's a great, easy grab and go snack that's gonna help you feel really good. So let me know in the comments what your favorite snacks are. I'm sure that you guys all have some really healthy snacks, but if you have some unhealthy snacks, share those too, and I'll be able to make recommendations to help maybe level those up a little bit and make them a little bit more healthy. Or maybe you're just eating like a carbohydrate like a fruit and I could recommend a pairing of a fat and a protein for you. So let me know in the comments there. Um, so even if you're on point in terms of nutrition, cravings happen, right? They happen to everybody and they happen to everybody for a lot of different reasons. So I want to talk to you about how to kind of stay on top of your cravings. Snacking is a strategy that's going to help with that. But also when cravings strike, gives you some tools in order to make better decisions. Um, so for me, my big craving is ice cream. Um, I sometimes give into that craving, craving. I'll talk about the 80, 20 rule in another video. Um, but a lot of times I want, I want to stay on point. I want my energy levels to be high. I want to feel good. I want to be able to run after my kids. I want to be able to run my business with the energy that I want to have during the day. Um, I want to feel good in my training sessions. And I know that ice cream is not the thing that's going to get there for me. Um, so when you are having a craving, you really want to think through like kind of what your body's asking for. So um, ice cream is sweet, it's cool, and it's creamy. So I would want to match a snack replacement or um, uh, uh, yeah, it's not replacement with that texture, sweetness, etc. So what I love to do is I either eat a chia pudding, which is awesome. Um, if you need the recipe for that, let me know here. I'll send it to you. It's one of my favorites. Um, chia pudding, I often eat that chia pudding for breakfast. So when I eat that, then I don't have a breakfast for the next day, but that's a conversation for another time. Um, I also love to make in our Vitamix, we make, we call it strawberry ice cream, but it's literally just 
frozen strawberries, Greek yogurt, and a little bit of honey. And that makes an amazing creamy texture. You can also experiment with frozen bananas. There's all kinds of recipes out there um, with frozen bananas, cacao, and I think or maple syrup to sweeten it. So those are some great options for me. Um, so let's say you are craving pizza, like a great replacement to that would be something salty and meaty. So maybe deli roll-ups would help satisfy that. I know when I was pregnant, I was craving pizza, which was weird because I'm not really a huge pizza person. And I love um, Hawaiian pizza, and this probably sounds really weird, but what I would do is I would get the um, pineapple slices, you know, the kind that's like the circle in the can, and I put a piece of ham over that. I'm not saying this is perfect, but it's better than pizza. Put a piece of ham over that, some pizza sauce, marinara sauce that I had on hand over that, and then cheese, and I bake it in the toaster oven, and voila, I call it a pizza. I love it. I thought it was amazing. Mike thought it was absolutely disgusting, but I was pregnant, so you got to make it work, right? Um, another suggestion, so if you're craving chips, a lot of times you're just craving the salt from that. Pickles might be a great alternative that will help satisfy that craving, um, and then if you're craving candy, a great suggestion for that, which is um, in season now, is cheese cherries. Cherries are so sweet and delicious. Um, if you can't get them, if they're not in season, you can also buy frozen cherries and those are delicious alternative to um, candy. So I hope that this is helpful to you. We put a guide out. It's completely free this month. It's all on healthy snacking options. It talks through um, it gives you a bazillion ideas for staying on point with the healthy snacking, some quick recipes for you to try, um, some grab and grow, go recipes, um, and strategies to help you overcome your cravings. And I'll include the link to that in the comments here. And I hope that's helpful to you. But please, if you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to reach out. We love supporting people wherever they are on their health and fitness journey. And I hope this visit, uh, video was helpful to you and I hope you have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.